is our fault, though. Yeah. I don't want it. <laughs> Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're gonna go after the gilt heads today. We've got Sam with us. Hell yeah. We're gonna hopefully get one for the frying pan, a nice big one. They've started coming up now, so we're eager to get one. And Sam wants his first one. Yeah, two rods. We're good to get that ticked off the list, eh, yeah. dude? Hell yeah. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing. What we're using today is just a two hook flapper. There's two three way swivels, a short snood to a size 2 0 hook, or 3 0. We're after the big ones today. We've got a variety of bait and I've got one conga rod <laughs> and then my, my 12 foot beach caster. What we got, well, one of the things we got for bait today is the gaper clams that we dug in the foraging videos. These are great for uh, gilt head and that's what they look like when then they come out of the shell. Just a big ball of juice. It's a lovely bait and how how I personally like to bait them. There's a bit of a trumpet, you get that on the hook first. Get in there and out the side. And the guts, I like to just wrap round and lay on the back. And then the good old bait elastic. And you're essentially just making a sausage round the hook. One of those big clams would make two baits easily. And all you're doing is just wrapping it up. Give it a good old whipping. And there you go. That's an ideal bait for a gilt head, bass, anything that's swimming past. So we're gonna get them all baited up now. We're gonna wait for the peeler crab to defrost and I'll show you how we bait those up. Woo! So rod's out now, all baited up. Now it's just a waiting game. Sam's preparing a few more clam baits. What are you going for? A bit of razor? A bit of razor, a bit of clam. No. Nice. Bit of anything I can find. Hell yeah. We have other baits as well. We've got we've got peeler crab and uh, razor clams and stuff like that. We've got a packet of mackerel in case this goes tits up. And then we're going for congas. Then we just got a big bag of the gaper clams. And it's all baited up the same way. Just into sausages, bound on the hook, and that hopefully will catch a giant gilt head. We're only trying our luck today. The gilt heads have only just started showing up, so we thought we'd give it a bash and hopefully get one. You always see a couple of nice ones come up first of all, so hopefully we get one. It's a nice relaxing side of fishing this. Chuck a bait out and wait for a monster. A lot of mullet just swimming around here and just creeping up on them. There they are. Feeding on something. You can see the fin there, guys. These are some really big fish. They're massive. And they're just cruising along. <laughs> Interesting to see, though. Whoop! <laughs> Shows how many fish were there guys. I've just sport their fun. Yep, fish off. It's a good fish guys. Swimming towards me. It's a very good fight. That's a good slamming fight, eh Sam? Yeah. Taking my time here, the trick with uh, bigger fish from the shore, you've just got to walk them off the beach. Give them a good amount of flat just to uh, beach itself. It's a gilt head. Oh, well, hey. Come on, boy. Yes! That's what it's all about. Oh, we'll get up to a better spot, guys, and we'll get you a better show. Buzzing, baby, catching good gilt head. Woo! That's a gilt head bream. 
not a huge one but it's a lovely one all the same about three pound three pound two something like that I had a feeling about it spotty say Sam yeah look at the gold bar on that head hell yeah we've got tea baby Woo! absolutely chuffed with that it's a lovely size gilt head bream that oh still wiggling a bit I'll give him one more bash he's well and truly dead now hell yeah I don't know if you guys have remembered from the foraging. I'm going to stick a peeler crab on and another gaper. That one failed to gaper clam. That's what I was saying about these. You tend to pick up the bigger fish with them because they're a bigger bait. Got the night time approaching now. It's what we call witching hour. Hopefully, loads of gilt heads. I'm just putting on a lady crab. You've seen this in the foraging video that I kept, and this is exactly what I kept it for. The good old gilt heads. This fi these fish are absolutely delicious. That's why that one didn't get returned. There's no way I was letting that one go. You gotta have a catch and cook gilt head. So that's all the uh, peel of crab is. It's just wrapped on like so. Nice big juicy bait. I'm gonna get another clam on now. I'm going to use the guts of this one and hopefully we can get one on that. I don't know if you've ever seen this before guys. Gilt head bream's teeth. Look at that. They got like pads and they crush up mussels, limpets, you name it. Gaper clam, razor clam, peel the crab. The whole works. Just chilling out. It's always the way with bait fishing, eh, mate? Yeah, it's a waiting game, but it's, it can be rewarding. It's a waiting game. We're buzzing already, one gilt down. If we catch any more now, we won't keep any. We only wanted the one just for a catch and cook, that's all. These are delicious. These are better than bass, way better. The texture's amazing. And it's been, what, it's gotta be a good three or four years before since I've eaten gilt head bream. So it's gonna be good, eh, mate? Yeah, I've never tried it before. No, well, you never tried it? No, oh, Sam, there's a new one for Sam as well. So I don't know how I'm gonna cook it yet. I might turn it into goujons or maybe cook the fish whole. Still getting a lot of bites. Just no hookups yet. Waiting for that big mama gilt it. I don't know what it is, it doesn't feel as big. Please don't come off. What is that? What is that? Yeah, it's a bat. <laughs> Check that out. Small bat and ras. That was on peel of crab and razor clam cocktail. I'll get him set, I'll get him on hook, get you a release. Oh, oh, oh. Calm down, calm down. Lovely colours on this fish, eh, hey, sir? Yeah, it's beautiful. There we go. Alright, calm down. I want to let you go, mate. There you go, guys. Lovely little wrasse. Let's get him released. We're trying to get an underwater shot and <laughs> the fish won't go back. <laughs> come on. Is it going? I think so. Oh, grab it, mate. We, don't, we won't let it go to waste. It'll be pot bait. We go on. Oh, happy days! Just swam off. <laughs> oh well, we tried to get an underwater shot, but <laughs> it played dead. Let's go get some gilt. It's always good to try and get all the scales off if we can. Get it gutted. And we get it all washed out like so. You can see the gills and everything are gone. Just there's no blood left. And that's the fish ready for cooking, baby. No more fish in the end, guys. We've got loads of bites, hey, mate? Yeah, loads of them. We just, yeah, we just couldn't capitalise on it. We had the one gilt head, one small wrasse. 
But still successful for the catch and cook gill, Ed. We got one at least, eh, mate? I'm looking forward to eating it. That's it. Hopefully next time Sam will get his first gill, Ed. Hopefully. Guaranteed. He's, he's going to be one of those ones who gets the biggest gill, Ed, ever. It's now the next day. Me and Sam have just finished work. Eager to try this, eh, dude? Yeah. There's our gill, Ed. It's been in the fridge overnight. As you can see, we've gutted it. Give it a good old clean up through and descaled it. And what we're going to do today, it's quite simple. I'm no chef, but we know this tastes good. We're fish anyway. We've got a sliced lemon. We've got a bit of uh, three cloves of garlic and some basil. And what we're doing with this is we're going to get our fish, straighten her out. See, beautiful sized gilt head this was. Get that out of the way. We've got our tray. That's had, it's got three layers of tin foil through it, just so we can be a bit safe. And all we're doing is laying our fish in. Just doing the other side now. We're making the slits, so the fish will cook a lot quicker, and it allows it allows all the flavour from the garlic and stuff to penetrate through the meat and that's what we're doing just nice big slices and if you can see in there check that for white meat these are absolutely delicious I don't know if we showed you when we were down the beach look at that gold band on the head and they're such a hard fighting fish the gilt head can I say, we're no chef, but we've done this with previous fish, even with gilt a, a few years ago, so we know it tastes good. And all we're doing is we've got our lemon, and all we're doing is going inside the fish. Just like so. And then we get a good handful of our garlic. And that goes in there as well. And just stuff the hell out of it. And then finally, the good old basil. We're going to get a good lot of that. Stuff it in. My dad used to cook fish like this a lot as well. That's someone that does know how to cook. <laughs> And all we're doing with the rest of this, if you want to come a bit closer there, Sam, is I'm just going to put some pieces of garlic into the slots just to add to it. Because this fish essentially is going to steam inside of the tin foil. So you get all the smell and juice all going through it. And you can put as little or as much as you want in there. Over. And all we're doing now is just going to lay our other pieces of lemon on top, save that bit, and now it's just the wrap. This gilt head's a bit bigger than I thought. <laughs> Go. Just get a bit more. Just before we put the tin foil on, I almost forgot. If you can get good quality butter, then do so. This was all that was there at the time. And all we're doing is putting some butter in there just to add to it. And that will create a little steam pot for the fish. That will do. Beautiful. And now you wrap it. <laughs> just like so. Just mummifying it. And that's all we're going to do for now. We're going to get let the oven heat up and we're going to get it in there. Woo! Oh 
what we're doing now. We've got our, well, our cooker on 180 degrees. It's going to take about a good 30 minutes, 40 minutes to cook through. But we're just going to keep checking it until it's nice white flaky meat all the way through. That goes in the oven and it just about fits. And we're ready for cooking, baby. If only we had smell of vision, eh, Sam? <laughs> yeah, it smells great. Check that out, guys. Oh. That's beautiful. Look how good that looks. A little bit of decoration, you know? Got to get a little bit fancy when you cook a fish. You excited, dude? Let's see, come on. Ooh. Dig in. Really strange teeth there. Yeah, they're like little knobbies. Like molars. Yeah. Oh, check that out. You got to get a chunk. Check that. Lovely white flesh. Oh, it's not even, I'm digging it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See what I mean now? <laughs> Alright. Yeah. You're right. This is a real deal, eh? This is good. There's not much bones in gilt head. It's just big lumps of white flaky meat. Got a great texture. It's a bit like bass, but the texture is just a little bit different. I'll say this is better than bass. Way well, better. Mm. really light, eh, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's just flaky, eh? Oh. One more close-up. <laughs> Cooking it this way, I've done with a lot of fish. And uh, that's the only reason we cook fish this way, is because we know it tastes amazing. All the herbs and the garlic and that go straight through the fish, but it's not too overpowering, mm. eh? Not at all. The old final touches, look. Try with a bit of lemon. <laughs> Changes it, eh? That's well better. Yeah. Surprising. Oh, I don't even know what to say at the moment. <laughs> Just want to eat it. Look at the size of that lump of meat. Oh, nothing better than going out, catching a nice fish, come back, cook it up. Really simple as well. It's so tasty. Mmm. So tasty. I reckon this is the best catch and cook yet. Flavour yeah. wise. Easily. It's definitely up there for sure. Yeah. It's up there with the lobsters. <laughs> Way that's up that's there. That's a tough one though. I know you love your lobsters mate, but this is freaking delicious. I think this is better. It is good. Yeah. Extremely. Don't like keeping a lot of fish. We only do it for the catch and cooks really, or if a fish is injured we'll take a fish. But apart from that, most of them will go back. But it's nice just one off. Hey, yeah, grab one, sure. cook it up. It's tea sorted, eh? Oh, yeah. We've polished that already. <laughs> Expected for different. There we go. You can see the bones. And all that's left is all this meat. Look at that. A few little pin bones in the bottom. And the rest is just, you can just get slabs a bit. So I'm not going to leave you any longer guys. We're going to finish this in peace. In about five seconds really to be yeah, fair. Eh? <laughs> if you want to check out Sam's Instagram, it's at the Guernsey Angler. It's a bit different this content, but it's fun all the same. Just out having a laugh, eh? bit of yeah. cook up, delicious food. If you like my channel guys, like, subscribe. There's plenty more to come. It's smash fishing. Let's devour. Mmm. So free for all now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at his eyes. Oh, look at that.
Yeah. Should I? Go on. This is his eyeball, though. Yeah. I don't wipe it. <laughs> is that actually his eyeball on? Oh. What's it like? Really hard. Is it? Like gristle? That's rank. That is rank. I'll stick to the meat. Oh, eat that one. Oh, go on. <laughs> Since you did it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> You don't like a bit of... <laughs> What's that black bit? <laughs> I forgot we're still recording. <laughs> you are a monster, Sam. Yeah, I know I am. I enjoy my fish. A few dregs left. Stay tuned.